Anesthesia brain fog is a woman's health issue and no one's talking about it and that's why I am. If you're perimenopausal, you know the feeling. You feel tired, you can't sleep, the weight won't budge, your mind feels foggy, and deep down inside, you're probably starting to feel a little irrelevant. But that's not just menopause. For decades, medicine has defined normal as male in the studies. <laughs> In the 1950s, a drug called thalidomide was prescribed to pregnant women for morning sickness. It caused thousands of babies to be born with severe birth defects. After that tragedy, women were banned from drug trials to protect us. Even animal studies used only males because female hormones were considered too unpredictable. When women were finally added back, researchers averaged men and women's data together, erasing all our gender differences. For example, women metabolize drugs very differently. We're twice as likely to have side effects. Eight out of 10 drugs pulled from the market in the 90s were found to have harmed women more than men. Remember Ambien? Women were overdosed for 20 years before the FDA had to cut the dose in half. I'll never forget one of my patients, a cancer survivor. She was fragile, brave, and she was trusting me completely as I prepared her for her surgery to do her anesthesia. That moment made this mission personal because women like her are the most vulnerable yet the least protected. I'm an anesthesia provider. My instinct is always to reduce your fear, but fear without hope is terrifying. Knowledge with hope is empowering. That's why I've spent the last two years building strategies to help women safely navigate surgery and anesthesia. As Dr. Lisa Moscone says in her book, The XX Brain, brain health is women's health, and women's health is brain health. So follow me if you believe women deserve safer surgery, smarter recovery, the truth about anesthesia's impact on the brain, because fear without hope is terrifying, but knowledge with hope is empowering.